busy day today. Just arriving at the Bellagio and only have time for maybe a couple of hours worth of poker before heading on out of here. A couple of gatherings tonight in the poker industry. First things first, called in. We're gonna hop in the 510 over here. Hopefully the wait isn't too long. And then yeah, just uh, gonna go for that hit and run. But who knows, anything can happen when you're playing a very short session. We're gonna get in there and hope for the best. Let's see what happens. All right, just wrapping up the super short session. We got in uh, about two and a half hours worth of play there. Had to keep it short because it got to run. We're off to party number one, the Crush Live Poker Party. Got involved in a couple of hands there during the, the uh, two and a half hours or so that we were on the grind. First interesting hand, there's an early position raised to $30. Lay down a pocket fives on the button. I make the call, and the small blind puts in a three bet. It's Shannon B. Hey, hey, how are you? You want to be on the block? Um, sure. <laughs> are you allowed to talk about like business here as an employee of MGM and you know Bellagio? What kind of business would you like? To talk to? Is this your car? This is my car. Oh, okay. Well, <laughs> your car's here, so I guess we can't talk about too much business. <laughs> All right, see you guys later. Next time. Next time, Andrew. <laughs> Good seeing you. Good to see you. It's my birthday, by the way. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. Are you partying? Uh, I'm going for the win, though. Okay. I'll be over there later, actually. Are you? Yeah. All right, I'll be there working. I'll say hi. See ya. Bye, Shannon. Bye. That's my buddy, Shannon. She's, uh, she's one of the best floor people in all of Las Vegas. Anyway, as I was saying, the small blind puts in a pretty small three bet. Makes it $90. Original Razor calls, I'm definitely calling. We're seeing a flop three ways. You probably know what's coming. Pretty favorable flop. Flop goes nine, five, deuce with two hearts. Small blind thinks for a while and then leads out for $180. The early position player calls and it's up to us. I think with a flush draw out there, a raise uh, seems best in this spot. So I put in a raise, I make it $530. The small blind thinks for a while and then he decides on a flat call. The early position player folds, so it's heads up to a turn card and the small blind probably has about $900 left at this point. Turn seems pretty good, offsuit six. Shouldn't change too much unless someone happened to have some sort of a combo draw, uh, a flush draw plus gutter ball, something of that nature. The small blind, instead of checking it over to me, just jams it all in there. It's about $900, pretty straightforward call. He asks if I want to run it twice. As per usual, when someone asks me, I just, I go along with uh, whatever they want to do. I leave it up to them. I'm usually not the one to ask. But if someone asks me, I'm down for whatever. He, he says he would like to run it twice. I agree. The first river is an offsuit queen. And he announces that that's him. The second river is an offsuit four, I think. He rolls over pocket queens. So we are going to chop this one up. He makes a better set on the river on the first run out and does not improve on the second run out. So, so yeah, not the best result there, but uh, I think it's an interesting illustration of this whole running it twice thing. If you remember from the previous video, we ran it twice when I had the best hand and ended up losing one of those. Same situation here, uh, this time, the other gentleman asked to run it twice. If he did not ask to run it twice, if my opponent did not ask to run it twice, we would have uh, lost the maximum here and he would have just got there uh, on the first run out. So it's a good thing that he asked to run it twice and it's a good thing that I accepted. Of course, this is all just uh, results oriented. Over the long run, not too much changes, but um, you know, just a interesting illustration from the exact days the exact previous day's session to today's session, running it twice, uh, hurt us once and then helped us once. Pretty standard, I guess, over the long run. Only other uh, interesting hand in this session, we were playing eight-handed and the hijack limps in. I look down at pocket tens in the cutoff and I make it 40. Folds back to the hijack who makes the call. So heads up to a flop. Flop comes a six three rainbow. He checks, I check. Turn is a five of diamonds, which I think brings a backdoor flush draw. This time he bets 50. I peel one off, don't wanna fold just yet. River seems like a good card. River is an offsuit ace. This time he leads out for 
So for that price, I think I'm just gonna have to make the call here. Ace on the river seems to eliminate some combinations of hands that beat us. $80 is just too, too cheap to find a fold here in this spot. So I toss in the chips and make the call. And he says, you got it. So good news there. He shows eight, seven of clubs for eight high. Pocket 10's good. All right, heading out of here, heading out of the Bellagio, making our way to the Gold Coast Casino. Let's go. So we ended up winning about $290, 297 I think was the actual number, something like that. Would have been nice uh, if those pocket fives hold up, but for a two hour, two and a half hour session, I think $292 or 297 or whatever it was seems mostly appropriate. All right, stepping in here to uh, TGI Fridays, see what's happening here at the Gold Coast. I've been into the Gold Coast maybe three times in my life. So we just introduced Brad who just came a couple of uh, minutes ago and here's Andrew. This is the first time I'm meeting him so Hi everyone. You guys haven't been under a rock. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bart Hansen, YouTube, YouTube, Bart Hansen. You're probably pretty familiar with YouTube. I mean, at least like different content distribution channels. Yes. You're just definitely. out there. You're just out there. Definitely. Right? Well, yeah, so we're doing our Crush Light Poker meetup, and you were nice enough to come. This is awesome. You were nice enough to invite me. Yeah, we got, uh, what, a couple. I'm drinking on, I'm drinking three, on Bart's tabs now. Three Lagunitas, three 20 ounce Lagunitas. One of my favorite beers, yeah. Lagunitas IPA. And uh, this is at TGI Fridays at the Gold Coast. We've actually done this meetup here four years. Straight. So this is like home base for yeah, it's a really, really CLP nice area. meetups. Yeah, we got 50 people here, and uh, it's been great. And thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. It's, uh, it's, it's good to be here. And like, this is, you know, we've chatted before. We kind of exist in the somewhat similar world. But this is the first time we've actually connected in person. Yeah, I mean, you got, you know, you kind of do like the lifestyle thing, and I do like the hand history thing. But you've kind of opened up. Yeah. You no, my hand history sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alright with the lifestyle stuff. But I actually started posting hand nurses on YouTube because of you though. Because you are the one that had opened everything up to being popular for poker on YouTube. So I appreciate that and thank you. I don't know. I don't know if that's exactly right. <laughs> but we'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh, so give us like, you know, some tips here and there for main event preparation. Sure. You, were talking, you were talking to the uh, the group here yeah. about that sort of thing. So give, give us like a quick sort of like general approach to your uh, I don't know if it's like mindset or you know some some easy tips for main event uh, preparation going into day one. So I played the main event for ten years. This is going to be my eleventh year, and I, what I always tell people, which is part of our CLP meetup, is that it really depends on the table that you get. Like there's such a broad range of tables. So on day one A, you know, or whenever day one you play, in, you're going to be so deep. You know, the blind start at 75, 150, and we're 50,000 deep. We really need to gauge your table. I've had tables where. Where I have been outmatched. As crazy as that sounds, I've been outmatched. No, I've also had days. <laughs> I've also had days where I've had a bunch of fish on the table, and then there's situations where I've might have had like five or six like crazy action businessmen and two or three world class players. So you need to gauge what your table is. And the thing about the main event, because there are two hour levels, you're not going to get broken like Colossus, like the Millionaire Maker. So if you pay attention very, very close early on, whatever day you're on. Then you can attack basically the table that you're at. So you need to pay attention and say, Am I on a tough table? Am I going to sit back? Or am I on an easy table? And I actually need to push. Even though it's day one and we're deep and it 
it's your first time in the main event, you don't want to go out if you're going to identify the fact that you're going to use the table and you can accumulate chips. Well, you're, then you're making a mistake by not trying to accumulate chips. So you need to pay attention very, very early on. And that's the key. That's the key. That's all. So basically, if there's like less world beaters in there, then you should be in there mixing it up a little bit more yeah. frequently. Absolutely. Or a lot more frequently. Absolutely. And uh, if you got some heroes on the table, just chill, chill, back, chill a little bit. Yeah. Take it easy. Don't panic. All that sure. stuff. You got it. So what's the deepest you've ever made it in the main event? I finished 110th in 2007. Out of like 8,000 people. So I got like 59,000. Uh, yeah, but poker was easy back then. So that's, that's definitely true. All right, man. Well, thanks for having us. The uh, CLP gets together. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate it. All right. All right. We, oh, should we? I think we should mention actually because we mentioned when I uh, did a live stream with uh, with Doug. We mentioned on there that we swapped three percent. So we should just we can put this out there. Okay. But right now we swap one percent. We swap one percent. All right. So we got one percent locked up. We'll see what happens. See what happens. Cool meeting uh, Bart Hansen. My first time uh, actually meeting Bart in person. Bart's been such a fixture as far as like poker education and poker commentary. Poker, Bart was doing commentary on so many uh, so many shows back in the day between both Live in the Bike and some other uh, TV cash games and tournaments and all sorts of stuff. So plan now is to uh, depart, depart the Gold Coast make our way over to the win. Next stop is the upswing poker party at Surrender Nightclub. Uh, this stuff means right here all these poles parking fees are coming to the win so we can all look forward to that have you ever had a dream that that you um, you had you you would you could you do you would you want you you could do so you you do you could you you want you want him to do you so much you could do anything There's no preparation for these sorts of Poker! Things. What's up? 2017! Oh, wow. There you have it. That part out. <laughs> you guys want to get in there? No, no that part is going. Cool. Cheers, I'm so poker. This guy made it to Atomic Liquors the other day. Ned, Ned you made it to Atomic Liquors? Yes. Yeah. And it was due to the vlog, man. I appreciate this stuff. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad you made it. I'm glad you uh, followed one of the recommendations. It's very nice to be here with you, Andrew. <laughs> Lots of bad wrecks there, but it's going to be very favorable. Alright, where do you want to stay on the block? Where do you want to stay? I told you so, man. I told you so, really. This guy's so chill. so chill, dude. Yeah, 
you got a you got a professional uh, filmmaker here. Professional. Aspiring, aspiring professional filmmaker. You're on your way. I'm on my way. You're just, you're just grinding. You're really grinding harder than Jonah. I'm, I'm grinding and I'm also getting out of line too. Are you? What's up, guys? I'm not gonna finish your line. I'm not gonna finish your line. I know, that's fair. That's fair. How's the party treating you? I, I just like your reaction, though. You're like, what the fuck's your no, problem? I'm just waiting. We are here at the up Wait, I'm looking at the screen. We're not here. We're here at the up Poker Party. Hanging out. We're getting pretty f***ed up, if I do say so myself. And I say that because I know at least one person getting f***ed up. Myself. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know no, that no, 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 no. You're not gonna be in the pool. Either. No, you're not gonna be in the Bro, pool. I'm taking my pants off. We're going to the pool soon. You are gonna go in the pool. Yeah, yeah. I got, I got, I got to change. I got to change the back. Yeah. I don't I know. know else, everyone loves the tank. tank. I don't know what else to say here. It's just like, it's like a bunch of madness happening. Madness. Okay. I'm glad we got a sh very short session in here. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but I'm glad we got a couple more grants here. Be on the editing grind tomorrow. Chilling on Sunday. Main event Monday. See you there.